Welcome to another episode of Muscle and Fitness Raw. I'm Dr. Jim Stepani, Senior Science Editor for Muscle and Fitness Magazine. Now dumbbell presses, whether for the chest or the delts, are a great way to build well-balanced muscle. That's because each dumbbell is independent of the other, which means each arm works independently of the other. That means that the muscle fibers on each side of the body must work maximally to move the dumbbells. Unlike in some cases with barbell exercises where the stronger arm takes over and supplies more of the muscle force, while the weaker side basically goes along for the ride. One problem with dumbbell presses is that as you get stronger and are able to lift heavier, it's difficult to get the dumbbells into position to perform the exercise. Take these 100 pounders here. Since I am unfortunately unable to do 100 pound dumbbell curls, swinging the dumbbells into position is out of the question. Another problem with dumbbell presses is that once the set's over, it's just as difficult getting the dumbbells back to the dumbbell rack. I'm using 20 pounders here for safety reasons and to just illustrate my point. But lowering a set of heavy dumbbells to the floor from a lying position is not the best thing for your shoulder joint. Of course, many guys just drop them to the floor. That's not the best thing for the life of the dumbbells. Plus, it makes you look like an inexperienced fool in the gym. So have some respect for yourself and for your gym's dumbbells and learn how to properly mount and dismount from a set of heavy dumbbell presses. The key is all in the legs. To set up for flat dumbbell presses, sit on the end of the flat bench and hold the dumbbells in a vertical position, high on your thighs, close to your hips. Maintain the 90 degree angle in your hips as you lie back on the bench so that your legs basically move the dumbbells into place, saving your shoulders and arms from doing the work. Lower your legs to plant your feet firmly on the floor and turn the dumbbells to an overhand position and perform flat dumbbell presses. When you are finished, turn the dumbbells into a neutral position and bring your legs back up to form a 90 degree angle at your hips. Allow the dumbbells to fall toward your legs. Use the momentum of the dumbbells to pull your body up off the bench and let your legs catch the dumbbells as you immediately stand up from the bench. To set up for incline dumbbell presses, sit on the end of the incline bench and hold the dumbbells just above your knees. Using one leg at a time, kick each dumbbell up so that they end up over your shoulders. Turn the dumbbells into an overhand position and perform incline dumbbell presses. When you are finished, turn the dumbbells into a neutral position and bring your legs up to form a 90 degree angle at your hips as you allow the dumbbells to fall toward your legs, using the momentum of the dumbbells to pull your body up off of the bench, letting your legs catch the dumbbells as you immediately stand up from the bench. To set up for dumbbell shoulder presses, sit on the bench and hold the dumbbells just above the knees. Using one leg at a time, kick each dumbbell up so that they end up over your shoulders. Turn the dumbbells into an overhand position and perform dumbbell shoulder presses. When you are finished, turn the dumbbells into a neutral position and lower each dumbbell one at a time as you bring your leg up to catch the dumbbell and lower it back to the starting position. So there you have the proper way to mount and dismount from heavy dumbbell presses. Be sure to use these techniques the next time you do heavy dumbbell presses. They're good for your joints, good for your reputation in the gym, and they're good for your gym's dumbbells. If you're wondering about decline presses, I'll get into that in a future episode of Muscle and Fitness Raw. For now, be sure to have a partner hand you the dumbbells when doing decline dumbbell presses. It's the safest way to get the job done.